tunakukaribisha katika sehemu ya mahojiano na wageni wetu siku hii ya leo kwanza ni bwana Kasozi karibu Asante bwana asante bwana chacha e, karibu ni kuite mheshimiwa lakini <laughs> <laughs> Iko mheshimiwa kwa kiasi fulani <laughs> katika katika nyanja ya muziki. <laughs> Kisha mchungaji Odiambo pia ni mgeni wetu siku hii ya leo. Karibu sana mchungaji. Asante sana bwana Chacha na nimefurahia kuwa hapa. Asante sana. Sasa katika studio zetu siku hii ya leo ni studio hata ingawa tuko nje lakini ni studio. Tuna wanafunzi toka shule ya upili ya wasichana ya Naivasha na kuna maswali ambayo nataka tuweze kuulizana uh, kidogo kisha baada ya pale basi tuweze kutamatisha kipindi. Kwanza kabisa sitauliza swali la kwanza, nitamkaribisha huyu dada aweze kuwatupia swali la kwanza. Kwa hivyo mchungaji, okay. uh, unataka kumtupia nani swali la kwanza? Bwana Kasozi. Naam. Haya, uliza swali. Nina swali um, kuhusu kuwapa vijana mutisha kwa mziki vipi tutawapa vijana mutisha katika hata kutunga nyimbo zao mwenyewe na kukubalika katika kanisa na... ehe anauliza kwa, kwa, kwa ufupi kwamba bwana Kasozi ni kwa njia gani mnaweza kuwapa vijana mutisha kwanza au kabisa au waweze kuwa watunzi kwanza kabisa ninashukuru sana unajua nimeangalia wasichana au wakiimba mpaka nikarudi nikasema kumbe kuwa kijana mwana ni jambo jema kabisa <laughs> lakini nimegundua kuwa kijana katika mambo ya Mungu ni bora zaidi what you are doing is exactly what you should be doing yani na, kama watakuwa spotted katika mambo yale you know what eh? ni bora we spotted hapa <laughs> kuliko kuwa spotted katika ba <laughs> katika disc <laughs> <laughs> so nimependezwa sana na what you are doing and you are singing really lovely voices. Now kuhusu kuwapa motisha vijana jinsi ya ku uh, uh, what was the question was it was about uh, wao pia waweze kuwa watunzi wa uh, watunzi wazuri. Eh, wazuri. Uh, I've said this before many times in many fora kwamba uh, kwa mtunzi mzuri ni lazima uwe msomaji mzuri wa Biblia. Maana Biblia imeja lots of resources yani hakuna swali ambalo tutauliza mle kwenye biblia usilikute so maswala ya vijana kwamba mnapaswa mfanye kazi muwe kama mchwa mchwa mnamjua mchwa ni aunt hii eh hii aunt hii hiyo ni vijana wanaongea baadhi ya vijana pale but the resources ambayo imezunguka katika zile verses ni nyingi sana ukishikilia ile verse moja ukaishikilia tu hiyo topic moja ukasema kwamba vijana na kazi utajikuta kwamba kwenye resources ya bible umefanya mambo makubwa sana so you go around that topic i'm just teaching you now some basics about the composition you take that topic look for it in genesis look for it in proverbs look for it in uh, the same topic usiende usi, usiepe usiende mbali mbali pale 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 utajikuta kwamba you have a beautiful you have much more material than mmemwa watu wengine wanaingia tu ambao habari za upendo wa Mungu upendo wa Mungu upendo wa Mungu hawamalizi upendo wa Mungu but the lots of topics of also nezo kana ni in fact mkishfanya hivyo hakuna haja kurudia the verses ni hii style mna, watu wanaimba wanarudia verse mara mbili wanaenda verse tu wanarudi mara mbili wende mara this is lack of research but mkifanya research ya kutosha you will have enough material to go through with mm -hmm. songs. Hautarudia mara mbili manake ujumbe ni mwingi hata uweze kukumaliza. Mwingi yani utabagiza hata utaimba na Mungu akupata vizuri. Hivyo hivyo. Sijui pengine mchungaji wa Diamba na jambo la kuongezea kabla uulizwe swali lako. Kwa kweli ni, ni swali nzuri kwa maana Kasozi amesema kweli. Kwa kwa, kwa mfano alikuwa anaongea juu ya topic any topic man Mosa amesema habari ya upendo hivi ndivyo kwa maana kasozi tumekaa naye karibu sana nami pia nimepata mambo mengi sana kuhusu uimbaji kutoka kwake i was naturally born a singer but that was not enough kuna mambo mengi ambayo ilikuwa nanibidi nifanye kukaa karibu na wale ambayo wangenisaidia kuimba vizuri na pia kukompea mimi pamoja na wengine na mambo kama hayo unapoweza kufuatilia unaweza kukuta hata kama vijana wale ambao wanataka kuimba they naturally find themselves uh, around uh, those people wale ambao wanatembea pamoja nao wanaweza kuwa role model kwao hata bila wao kujua ya kuwa uh, they, are, they are being you know brought into the system 
and so ni jambo la maana sana ku stick to a particular topic kama unataka kwa mwimbaji ndani asante sasa uh, pengine umpe huyu dada uh, naamini kwamba una swali ambalo ungependa kumuuliza mchungaji kasozi ataongezea ikiwa kuna jambo la kuongezea lakini kwa mchungaji umpe swali lako na msalangu ni uh, mimi kama mwanafunzi nina jukumu la kupita katika masomo yangu na pia nina talanta ya uimbaji nitawezaje kusawazisha balancing eh hey, masomo fanye vyema ah. muziki pia ufanye vyema ya yeah, kwa kweli nimegundua kuwa muziki is also a part of academic yeah number two, wale ambayo wana wana uwezo wa kuimba na wana sauti nzuri na wametunukiwa kuimba nimegundua hata katika hali yao ya academics pia inakuwa nzuri so unapokuwa na nafasi ya kuhitaji kuimba it means that you have to have a lot of time to get into your books yeah get into your books alafu uzome, uzome zaidi na hiyo pia ikupatie nafasi extra time ambayo unaweza kuingia nayo katika hali yako ya uimbaji uimbaji is is deep and uh, i've realized that it is uh, it is it is even uh, the physics is there geography is there and so if you sing adequately and you spare your good time and you balance your time, time between your, your music pamoja na academics uh, you cannot uh, you know miss uh, performing well kwa hivyo mchungaji unasema yes. ili uwe mwimbaji mzuri lazima uwe msomi oh yes na haijalishi sio bibi lazima uende hata darasani read wide soma soma na pia usikize wengine unaimba namna gani standard gani ambao wameset kuna wengi ambao wameimba hapo awali ambao wamekuwa you know wanafunzi na wame excel so much so copy about them how did they do them yes yeah, so yeah with that one you can be able to excel well sijibu ana kasozi kama una jambo la kuongezea pale kwa swali la huyu dada um kwanza nishukuru aliye nileta huyu unajua some weeks ago nilongea habari za <laughs> za wale vijana wawili humo Tanzania humo Kenya humo amba sasa huyu ndo baba yao huyu <laughs> <laughs> and he is a very interesting man. Baki kungangania ame kungangania. Akikuona you have something good. Bakuaji bwana. Naomba hata mimi anishike mkono. I ended up staying in his place and <laughs> for many many months. At the end of the day na shukuru sana kwamba this is the product. I think this is the product ya vijana hawa. Kukusanya kwa hizi ukakumalize na entire season anafanya hii. Now this shows you kwamba Uh, balancing education with these extracurricular activities is important very very important kwa sababu vijana hawa wameonyesha wazi kabisa kwamba you do not have to stick to only geography and physics the other important things i myself am a product of uh, a scientific community i was doing medicine at the beginning and i walked out of medicine because no, 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 i don't i don't think i need to do medicine i was wondering how i was going to spend five years in a medical school spend another one internship then uh, that's just a general degree of med medicine then in the specialization for three years nianza tena special wakati wo my dad was also a doctor he was teaching and he was also going back for refresher courses because now what's going to happen to me because my life is going to be spent in just refresher courses so i just walked out of this thing say let me just do this music so girls i'm encouraging you if you are not successful in other fields don't be discouraged at a in field in jema it has lots of good things that happen that can happen there okay what you be aye aye nipe kipaza sauti huyu dada Ebu songa simama hapa pia utupe swali lako la mwisho kisha tuweza kutamatisha kipindi pengine ujitambulisha alafu tupa swali. Oh, mimi ni mwanafunzi katika shule ya Naivasha Girls naitwa Lois na nina swali mimi kama mwimbaji na inayo tamaa kujua jinsi ya kutumia vifaa vya uimbaji gita, piano, violin nitajifunzaje na nitapata wapi hivi vifaa? Asante. Mchungaji ameamua kuanza. Okay. Okay, area hii kwa kweli ningependa kuambia kwamba jinsi ambavyo nimekaa katika music industries uh, ninajua ya kuwa kuna uwezekano. Kwanza pia kama una interest. Yes, kama unaweza kuwa na interest kwa upande wa guitar, uh, unaweza ku explore that area kama una interest kwa any other instrument ambayo unaweza kuweza kuingia huko. 
So hapo pia pia unaweza kupata nafasi ya kipekee ku explore that area. And in a, uh, mfano tu ambao ningependa kutoa when these gentlemen were growing up I normally call them gentlemen uh, they used to yeah you know they used to come around when we were busy you know we were we were, we were, we were trying to you know kubuni kubuni uh, beats ya 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 ya, 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 ya wimbo fulani gentlemen would come there you would think that they are doing nothing kumbe they were keenly watching and listening and studying all the physics and everything all around it so with that I realized that nikagundua tu ya kuwa teaching them you know keyboard and things like that on high kwa na 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 ngumu zaidi but uh, much more since that one is uh, Kasozi's area I want to believe that and a lot of man Kasozi kwa fupi naambia tuna dakika moja tumalize Okay in just one minute uh, there is not, there's nothing you can say about the value of learning an instrument that that can fill an a minute Ukweli ni kwamba instruments zina fixed pitches i think this hiyo mnaelewa kwamba ukipiga hii ntong hata mjapani akipiga ntong hata ikipigwa grease ndio hiyo ntong now that no that <laughs> it's a frequency iko fixed now because it is fixed it means mtu anayeimba anafuata an instrument anajifunza how to fix his pitches also people who sing with an instrument never go off pitch and so that is the first value ya kujifunza an instrument yani mtu aliyejifunza keyboard iwe flute iwe violin akiingia kwenye choir huyu ana pitch wenzie wote kwa sababu yeye ana value hii kitu amejifunza humu jinsi ya kunani so i can't talk about the value of an instrument more than that well then of course instruments zinakusaidia ata ku keep rhythm there are people who don't have rhythmless bwana <laughs> Ngoja nisongee mengi lakini they are there tutaanzia swali hilo katika kipindi hiki kijacho eh hiyo zana za muziki ala za muziki tunashukuru bwana tutaanzia hilo katika kipindi kijacho haya asante mtazamaji kipindi hicho cha mahojiano kinamalizikia pale tunapoendelea na uimbaji Tuko hapa mbele zako toko pasifa watu penda watu jali toko pasifa tuko hapa mbele zako toko pasifa watu penda watu jali toko pasifa tuko hapa mbele zako toko pasifa watu penda watu jali toko pasifa Tuko hapa mbele zako toko pasifa watu penda watu jali toko pasifa
Yesterday, when you came into my working place and said, Matthew, give up your work for me. Cause I wanna make the best out of you so that you can be brand new and be part of my disciples. Yeah, Lord, yesterday when you came into my working place and said, Simon, give up your nets for me. Cause I want to make the best out of you so that you can be brand new. Joan Wendy um, mmoja wapo wa wanakwaya wa kikundi cha Never Shagals High School nilikuwa mwanafunzi katika shule hiyo mwaka uliopita uh, kwaya hiyo iko na 30 members uh, na tulipoanza kwanza kabisa tulikuwa na tulikuwa tunaimba kama kanisa nzima ndipo tukaamua tuanze kuimba eh, kama kikundi ndipo mwaka huu tulipoanza kuimba kama kikundi Mungu akatuwezesha tukatoa albamu yetu ya kwanza ambayo ina nyimbo nane na tunamshukuru Mungu kwa hayo Yeah. 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 Yeah.
kundi hili limekuwa na changamoto nyingi hasa um, wakati wakati wa kuabudu tunavyostahili tunastahili kwanza Ijumaa lakini hatakuwa na wakati huo lakini tunamshukuru Mungu kwamba kwa, kwa kwa maombi na pia kufunga tuliweza kupatiwa waliweza kupatiwa siku nzima ili waweze kumwabudu Mungu katika siku ya sabato na pia kundi hili linajikakamua sana wanapokuwa pale shuleni wao huwa na wao huwa na lesoni mbalimbali mbali. kwa mfano kila Ijumaa wao huwa na mafunzo ya unabii ambao wao hujifunza wao kwa wao na pia tungependa kushukuru kanisa la Naivasha Central kwani wameweza kutushika mkono na wameweza kutusaidia katika uh, katika uh, safari hii ya imani na naomba kwamba Mungu aweze kuwazidishia na pia aweze kuwabariki Yesu,